everyone welcome back to the 2018 granny square crochet stay along today we're making this lovely lovely dragonfly square where we have the head made out of a popcorn uh, we have a long stitch here and a double crochet and then we have some chains making our two part wings on either side and then just some lovely um, stitch work going on with these spaces and um, double crochet so grab your hook yarn scissors cup of tea or coffee and let's get started okay to start today's square you either want to chain four or you can use the magic ring. If you use the magic ring, um, make a chain three and that counts as your first double crochet. And then make 15 double crochets into your ring. Or you can do um, chain four. Your first um, or your last three chains count as a double crochet. And then this bottom chain you're going to use as your ring. So into there, make 15 double crochets. And then added to your first chain three, you will have 16 double crochets when you've finished. So I will see you when I have my 16 double crochets. Okay, so you can see how this bottom chain is really grown now. And um, all you want to do is, um, whether you're using the magic ring or the chain four, just pull that ring in tight to give you a nice, closed center and make sure that when you're sewing your ending you fasten that off nice and securely on the back or it will just pull open again um, okay and then you want to slip stitch in the top of that chain three that you have there so just slip stitch in the top there and that is the end of our round one Okay, now round two is possibly one of the fiddliest rounds um, or trickiest rounds, but we're just going to take it a step at a time. So let's go for it. Um, <laughs> if I can crack my yarn. Okay, so we want to chain three as a double crochet, and then we're going to do a double crochet in that same stitch chain one and two more double crochet in that same stitch and this is our first corner okay and then you want to do a single crochet into the next stitch the one next to the chain is always a bit more fiddly okay so single crochet and then chain 10 now don't do these chains too loosely i mean too tightly you want to do them a reasonably good size three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and then you want to slip stitch into the top of the single crochet that we've just made so i find it easier to go in from the back okay so just to go in from the back of that single crochet there and do that slip stitch okay and then we're going to make a single crochet in the very same stitch and you want to bring this chain to the front before you do that so into the same stitch that we did the single crochet you want to do another single crochet okay and then you want to chain 12 and again do these not too tightly three So we've done a chain 10 and a chain 12 and once again you want to slip stitch into the last single crochet you just made so I'm going to do that from the back it's easier that way okay and then um, okay the next uh, stitch we want to do just pop that chain over to the side is a front post double crochet around the next 
stitch. So yarn over, pop your hook to the side of the next stitch and behind and through, bringing this post to the front and do that double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. So make sure that you're not going into the top of that stitch that you just um, did your front post around. So single crochet in the next stitch. And then another chain 12. Five, six, twelve. And a slip stitch into that last single crochet. through there. <clears throat> there we go. Again pull that chain over to the side out of the way. Let's pull it over out of the way and then we're going to do a single crochet in that very same stitch and a chain 10. And again, slip stitch into that last single crochet. Pop that chain over to the side, out of the way. And then we are going to do our second corner. So in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochet. chain one and two more double crochet okay so so far this is what we have we have two chains on this side a 10 and a 12 and a 10 and a 12 on the other side okay and our two corners okay so to continue um, round two we're going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches And then we're going to do another corner. Two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet in the same stitch. And then we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. And the next we're going to do is, we're going to do a front post treble crochet into or around the same stitch here as we did our front post double crochet around okay so the same stitch down here um a treble crochet or if that pulls tightly so a front post treble would be yarn over twice and then go under and complete that stitch now if you find that that's pulling your work over then you could do a front post double treble, which is yarn over three times. Complete the stitch in exactly the same way um, I did on this previous square. I'll turn it upside down. I did a double treble, but it's still pulling in slightly. So that was um, yarn over three times. So I'm actually going to yarn over four times and do a triple treble just so that it doesn't pull my square in quite so much, okay? And this is also why I've said to do these chains a little loosely because it's pulling in a bit too much there as well. So I'm actually gonna do a triple treble which is yarn over three times and then go into there, um, no, four times. So it's completely up to you. Have a go with a double, uh, with a, sorry, have a go with a treble and if that pulls too much, then yarn over uh, undo it, add an extra yarn over, and if that's still a bit too tight, um, add another yarn over. So you can see now, this has nicely come up to the same height as my other stitches, and it's not pulling at all. 
Okay, it's not curling over at all. So I did four yarn overs for this one. Okay. So you might want to just pause the video and do that stitch. And then we are going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. Now, make sure you are skipping this stitch that's right behind this um, next stitch here because that counts as the stitch we've just done. Okay, so you need to sort of skip that stitch behind. And then in the next stitch is where we're going to do our double crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do your corner two double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochet. And then three double crochet along one in each of the next or last three stitches. And slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three. And that is probably the fiddliest round we have for this square. So um, that's done. And it looks, it could um, yeah, be looking slightly odd, <laughs> but um, it looks a bit like a, um, a pumpkin or something, or a present with a bow on top and some ribbon. <laughs> um, but there we go for row two, uh, round two, and it's on to round three now. It gets much more simple. Okay, so round three, you want to slip stitch into the next stitch and then into the chain space. And in this, you want to do your first corner, so chain three, and then two more double crochet. Your corners this time are three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. So chain three, do two double crochet, and then chain one and three double crochet in that first chain. Now just be careful that you don't catch any of your chains and snag them as you work this round. Okay, so then we're going to do a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one of them will have been hidden by your corner. Make sure you grab that and a double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then we're going to do a double crochet in between these two chain spaces. Now these chains are your wings. So they're the wings on this right side. So in between there, do a double crochet in this stitch or space between there. Okay, and then pop that other chain over and you're going to do a popcorn in this next stitch which is the top of this front post double crochet. So you're going to do a five double crochet popcorn. So into that stitch do five double crochet. Just trying to hold my wings out of the way. Three, four, five. See what I've done there? I've, can you see that just there? I've snagged and caught one of my chains, and that's what you need to be, or one of my stitches you need to be really careful of in this. So once you've done your five, pop your hook out, pop it into the first one, pop the loop back on, and pull through. And there's your popcorn. And then, as we did over here, you want to separate your wings and do a double crochet in that stitch between. Okay, and double, and then, sorry, bring this wing over and do a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then it's time for another corner. Three double in this chain space, three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. Okay, when you've done your corner, you're going to do a double crochet in the next seven stitches, and then in your corner space, do another corner. And when you've done those seven stitches and your corner, 
you're going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches. And then around this um, stitch here, this long stitch, whatever stitch you did, whether it was a treble, a double treble or a triple treble crochet, around that stitch you're going to do a front post double crochet. And then you're going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches. And then you're going to make your corner and then double crochet into each of the next seven and then slip stitch into your top chain. So at the end of round three, this is what we have so far. So you can see that we have a dragonfly here with our head, the body and um, the wings. And we're going to fix these wings into place on this next round. Um, so just make sure you know which is your chain 12 and which is your chain 10. So the chain 10s are on the outside and the 12s are in the middle. Okay, so let's get started on round four. And I haven't even slip stitched. <laughs> okay, there we go, I'm ready. So let's chain three as our double crochet and then do a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then in the corner space, you're going to make your corner, which is two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. And then you are going to double crochet into the next stitch, which is the one that is usually hidden by your corner. And this is where you want to find your chain 10, make sure it's not twisted, or make sure it's facing the way that you want it to face. And then you're going to pop your, or do your yarn over, put your hook through into that chain space, just in that chain, and then go into that stitch and do your double crochet. Come through the chain and then complete your stitch. And that just secures your chain for that wing onto that stitch there. Okay, you won't need the next chain, the chain 12, until the next round. So then you're going to do a double crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. And we're going to work into the very last stitch on that side. So work all the way along for 11 stitches and I'll see you for the last stitch. Okay, so when you've done those 11 stitches, you want to grab your chain 10 on this side and do your yarn over and pop your hook through that chain space and into the last stitch on that side to do a double crochet and secure that wing just as we have over on the other side and then you're going to um you're going to do your corner and then a double crochet in the next three stitches. So do your corner in the next space and double crochet in the first three stitches of this side. And then you're going to do a chain one, skip a stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next. That's our third, chain one, skip a stitch and double crochet in the next, so that's four times. And then double crochet in the next two stitches, do your corner and double crochet in the next three. So two stitches, then your corner and then three stitches. Okay, once you've done that, those, uh, oh no, I haven't done the three stitches after the corner. Let me just do those. Okay, so once you've done your three stitches after the corner, you are going to chain one, skip a stitch, and double crochet in the next. That's one, chain one, skip a stitch, 
double crochet in the next that's two and for a third time chain one skip a stitch double crochet in the next and then chain one and skip the next stitch double crochet in the next no let me just double check with my pattern i think i've lost my place okay i had skipped rather ahead of myself on the pattern so we are going to do that once more so you've done your chain one skip a stitch and do a fourth double crochet there so apologies for that um so easy to lose your place when you look away um and then you're going to double crochet in the next two stitches like so and then you are going to do your corner as always do your corner and then do a double crochet in the next three stitches okay and this is where we're going to do just three um skip stitches so chain one skip a stitch double crochet in the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet in the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet in the next chain one and then slip stitch into your top chain of your chain three and there we go four round four gorgeous so in this next round we're going to attach these other two um, parts of our wings okie dokie row or round five we're going to start with a chain three for our double crochet and then we're going to do a double crochet in the next four stitches and then our corner we're going to do exactly the same as last time chain uh, two double crochet chain one and two double crochet and then the next three stitches so you're going to do four corner and three okay so when you've done those stitches and you've done three onto this next side we are going to join this chain 12 wing with our next stitch so we're going to do it in exactly the same way as we did with the other wing yarn over ready for your double crochet bring your wing up make sure it's facing the way you want to it's not twisted go into the chain and then go into that next stitch come through the stitch and the chain and then complete your stitch and that's all there is to it and then you're going to do a double crochet in the next nine stitches along and then we're going to bring this chain up into the next stitch so do nine stitches and then I'll join you to do this wing together okay so after your nine stitches you're going to bring this chain up on this other side do your yarn over ready go through the chain and into the next stitch and then finish your double crochet and there you have your actual dragonfly part finished two two um two part wing there and a two part wing here gorgeous and it's little head here and it's tail body and tail okay so then you're going to double crochet in the next three stitches and then do your corner next three stitches and your corner okay once you've done your corner you are going to double crochet in the next 17 stitches and spaces so when you get to these here you're going to um, do one double crochet in your space and one in the stitch so one stitch in every space and one in every stitch so 17 along and then um, do your corner and then you will do that again on this other side and then on this last side you'll finish that off with just 12 so work into every stitch and every space and don't forget your corners and I will see you at the end of this round and there we are at the end of round five so our square is practically finished now so um, the final round in the pattern tells us to do a double crochet round but double crochet was too big for me on my original square this one here so I did half double crochets um, around the outside 
So have a measure, see what you need um, to finish your sizing. And um, I only actually need a single crochet round. So um, how to do this, whatever size you need, um, you're going to do one stitch in every stitch, whatever size stitch you're making, one in every stitch. In your corners, you're going to do two stitches, chain one and two stitches. Again, whatever size that is. And to start your round, if you're doing single crochet, then chain one and then single crochet in the same stitch. The chain one just gets you started. If you're doing half double crochet, chain two and then you can move on to the next stitch. If you're doing double crochet, chain three and that will count as your double crochet and then continue around and um, slip stitch into either the top of your chain or for single crochet into your first stitch and at the end of this round you will have 25 stitches on each side a 100 in total so I will see you when I finished my final round and here we are at the end of the square so I've done my single crochet round and I've uh, sewn in my ends and it is finished and here is our single dragonfly lovely very clever very clever very lovely square to make so there is your square for today um, cleverly created by Aurora at blueangels.blogspot um, and uh, dragonfly mum of two um, so I'm not surprised she designed this square as um, one of her names online is dragonfly mum of two so she has kindly let us um, make this square and um, have a look over at her page I've put the link below in the description so go have a look at her page um, we've used a few of her squares this year already so um, you will probably recognize some of her work and um, she has loads more um, great stuff on her um, blog so do check out that link so I think you'll agree with me this is a gorgeous square for today you might need to give it a bit of blocking um, this is why you need to keep your chains quite loose and um, this one here so that it doesn't pull in too much okay so there we go I hope you've enjoyed making this with me today if you have and you found it useful and helpful then please click that like button give us a thumbs up and um, I can't wait to see your pictures of your squares in our Facebook group so until next time just keep hooking and don't let your tea get cold